Welcome to Chow Corner. I'm CP McQueen. This is an underdressed Thomas the Gun Winslow. Welcome to Chow Corner to wrap up, to shoot on Fight for Life 3. That's right, CP McQueen, the Kachow Corner, UPW's finest, finest location to catch up on all things, all the in-ring action of UPW. So let's start with that main event, Thomas. New champion, 13, able to steal the victory at Unit 5 for Life 3 against Malibu and Jack Tucker. What a fantastic match, CP. A fantastic match, but we were worried this would happen. Tucker inviting 13 into the match, and it came back to haunt him. What does this mean for Tucker and Malibu moving forward? What does it mean for Tucker and 13? What does it mean for 13 and the entire circus of tragedy? So much to play out with a new title, well, title holder. I don't know exactly what it means, CP. I'm not inside the, the awfully tragic mind of 13. But if you wish to witness what his terrible reign has in store next, you can check out his open challenge at United Pro Wrestling Halloween special here at Caboolture HQ. Looking forward to that. So Thomas, moving on, what was your Oh My Giddy Auntie moment of the week? Well, I'm glad you are, CP McQueen. My Oh My Giddy Auntie moment for this week. The Tower of Doom spot from Malibu, Jack Tucker, N13 in our main event. Let's have a look. They're both in a precarious position there. Balanced. Balanced on the second row. He looks to be going for a suplex. I, I can't believe what I'm about to see, CP. Uh, oh my. Well, oh if, my. Well, if he's looking for... Oh, oh, oh my, CP. Oh my, giddy auntie. Did you just see that? McQueen, all three men are down. Wow. Did, did you see that, CP? An amazing moment in an amazing match. No featherweight tournament match in this event, Thomas, but loads of featherweight action. We saw Ivan Black taking on Ricky Rembrandt. That's right, a suspicious uh, circumstances leaving the Muska Rosa injured and unable to compete in, a, in his uh, Wings of Gold featherweight tournament matchup. Uh, that left Ivan Black in the ring, waiting for someone, if he had any issues, to, to come out. And obviously Ricky and Ricky Rembrandt and uh, Ivan Black have had their issue. Ricky wanted to settle the score between the two. Now, of course, this means this wasn't a tournament match. Ivan Black goes through th to the semi-finals of the featherweight tournament, but Ricky Rembrandt had a point to prove, wanted to put Ivan Black to the test, and I've got to say, it's a test he passed. That, that's right, he's able to pick up the W once more against Ricky. The, Ricky the veteran, let's not, let's not forget his, his stature here in UPW, but then after the match, here's where the real interesting development is. Ricky lays down the challenge, a hair versus career match, I don't think anything wrong with losing hair, but... But Ricky doesn't have much hair, Thomas. No, it, Ivan Black's losing the hair. He's trying to... Ricky wants to shave that black mop off his head. So Ricky Rembrandt, one of the absolute stars of UPW, an absolute fan favourite, has put his career on the line for the Halloween, Halloween special here at Caboolture. That's right, CP. He says, what's the point of his career if he can't put away the newcomer Ivan Black? An enormous match in that next event. That's right, speaking of that featherweight tournament, let's have a quick look at the bracket here. Kanji Kid has beaten Ricky Rembrandt and Ivan Black beaten La Muscarosa. They will face each other in a semi-finals match. Um, Pogo the Clown has always also advanced further, but that leaves one more spot open. Who will it be? Well, we don't know, and we don't know for this reason. It's going to be Cluck and or whoever Cluck faces. Question mark, question mark, question mark. This, we this weekend at the Caboolture Halloween special. Tickets online. UnitedProWrestling.com.au or you can head over, I mean, you're on the Facebook page now. Why not just check out the events and get yourself a ticket? So drawing our attention away from the, the under 75 kilogram competitors, let's talk about someone who's very much not under 75 kilograms. The Stockman going 26 and 0, putting away Kanji Kid to continue his murderous reign again, uh, over UPW. An absolute dominant force in UPW, an imposing figure, a force of nature going 26 and 0, but that wasn't the most, impo uh, most important thing he did on the night, Thomas. That's right, CP. After the match, he, he, Moko Kai came out, and they've obviously had issues recently, and they, they pinned him down and it, it looks like they've just completely 
broken his shoulder. It was it was horrible to watch the stockman working with the billionaire bad boy, Vegas star, getting the jump on Moko Kai, taking advantage. It appeared to be breaking that arm, dislocating that shoulder, and yet we see Moko Kai will be back in action this weekend. That's hard. I mean, look at the Samoan warrior. He's he's an absolute competitor of the highest nature. He's, he's willing to always wrestle and compete whenever he gets the chance. And he hasn't got an easy com competitor in that ring. Going up against the gospel could be a challenge, especially for the injured competitor. It's going to be a big test. It's a big test when you're healthy, let alone when you're working with one arm. That, that was last week, Thomas. What have we got coming up? What matches have we got in store for us at the Halloween special? Well, a rematch between Strawberry Adams and the Circus of Tragedy's very own Jinx is set for ha the uh, Kabucha Halloween special. These two have had a match in the past and Jinx just absolutely put away Strawberry Adams, but the challenge has been laid down. Strawberry Adams wants to, wants to prove herself. And she's a newcomer to UPW. She wants to make her name known. And it, as well as that, of course, we've still got those vacant tag team titles. No one's holding those titles. Everything's up for grabs for someone to take that opportunity. Well, CP McQueen, I guess your eyes are better guess than anyone at this stage. Is, is, there, a better two, is there a better twosome in, in wrestling at the moment? I'd say not, personally. But let's not talk about ourselves anymore. United Pro Wrestling Kabulcha Halloween Special here, October 3rd. You can get your tickets now, unitedprowrestling.com.au or, as I said earlier, you're already on the Facebook page. Just a couple of clicks away, you can get those tickets. And not just that, we've got Halloween Bash back at the Shed at Aussie World on the 16th, just two weeks after that. One of the most fun shows of the year, personal favourite of mine. And then, in November, the big one. Undisputed Glory. November 16th, keep an eye out online for when tickets on that go on sale. Well, that's right, CP. Make sure this has been the Kachow Corner. It's been an absolute pleasure to sit down here with you and discuss some of the, the latest and greatest uh, events that United Pro Wrestling has had to offer. Make sure you like us on Facebook. Make sure you follow us on Instagram to stay up to date with all your favourite United Pro Wrestling happenings. I've been Thomas Winslow. I'm CP McQueen. Kachow.